Hi, this is my very first Borderlands 2 video. Now I'm be showing all you guys my favorite weapons. And I'm gonna be testing them all out on certain enemies. So let's start off my very first with my least most favorite weapon. So my least most favorite weapon is this rocket launcher called the Prowler. And the reason it is, is because it's only a white rarity. It only does slag damage. And it doesn't do that much. It only holds two ammo per shot. And the ac accuracy is pretty br bad. So I'm going to go test it out on something. So... Let's go test this out. Let's go find a boss. So, how about Saturn? So let's go to the Air Nexus Badlands and then test it out over there. Okay, we're here, we're gonna go test it out on Saturn now. And I'll be surprised if this gun is actually good against him, because this gun is only kind of good. It's, it's not really that good. So we're gonna go test it out on him. So let's just ignore all these enemies. So it looked like it did okay damage against that guy. The only problem is that it's probably not going to do good against Saturn. Because I don't have the amp shield on. And it's not doing much damage against the robots. So let's go test it out on him. So before the fight, I'm going to regenerate all my rockets. Okay, I should have enough by now. It's gonna be this guy that comes out. Rarely, usually, most of the time when you kill that guy, you get a good weapon. And maybe in this video, I'll get lucky and get a legendary from Saturn or I forgot what the legendary's called. I think it's like a legendary sniper rifle. And then there's also like some, there's also like some, uh, I think there's also like some other thing. And I'm just going to switch to my unkept herald because he doesn't look like he's dying here. But I'm going to be using a gun that's not going to be on this list to kill him. Because then it's just going to make it obvious. Of what I'm going to be using. So this gun. Is not going to be on the list. Which is doing nothing against him. Which like this gun. Will not be on the list. So I'm just going to kill him with that. So I'll be surprised if we got anything from him. And it doesn't look like we got anything good. Yeah, nothing good from this guy, sadly. So now... I'm going to do the next one. Which is the next gun that we're going to be using. It's called... The Sandhawk. Which I will be showing this gun, these guns with the Amp Shield. And here pretty soon. So let's, let's kill this guy again. And these guns we'll be using with the Amp Shield. Since it's going to take way too long to kill them without the Amp Shield. So let's kill him. And then. We're going to see what we can get from them. And maybe we could get something like really good. You, you never know.
which I'll be pretty happy if we get something good from him. So let's let's turn let's switch to my amp shield. So you can see here it's doing pretty good. Without it, it's okay, but not that good. Just gonna throw that at him. Oh, and that gun, the Unkept Herald, is going to be on this list. So let's come back in here, kill him again. And if you're wondering what that, that sound was, that was the boar damage. And if you're wondering what that is, I'll be showing in my next video how it works, but this is... This one it's called it's called boar. I'll be I'll be telling you guys what it can do in the next video that I make. Which that one will be maybe on the same day or some other time, I don't know. Whenever I'm gonna do my next video. But we're gonna be using this gun. And we're gonna kill him once again. Except this gun should be even better. In this time, this guy's only a level 2. Sadly, we got nothing from him. Okay, let's see. So, yeah, he's pretty much almost dead just from that. Yep. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're fighting this guy, beware of the little drones that are to come at you. Okay, so now let's go over here. Doesn't look like he dropped anything that time. Nothing landed on the ground, even though it looked like stuff did. That was probably just, it's probably just stuff, like parts of his corpse or something. So, he didn't drop anything good. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't drop anything that time, sadly. That would have been cool if he would have, though. But, in this video, we might get lucky and get the legendary sniper rifle. Or the hive from him. Which the hive I've gotten, I've gotten a ton from him. The legendary sniper rifle, I've only gotten from him maybe once, if that. Like the legendary sniper rifle is hard to get. So now we're gonna be going on to my next favorite weapon, which the sun can sometimes be good and sometimes be bad. It just depends on what you're using it on. Like if you're using it on like Hyperius the Invincible, it's not gonna be that good. So my next favorite weapon. It's probably one of my all time favorite favorites. It's called the Tidal Wave. Mine's the leather tidal wave. So we're gonna get this. And we're gonna see what this kit thing can do. So the bullets bounce whenever you shoot something. Like you don't have to shoot an enemy for the bullets to bounce. You just shoot the ground and they bounce. That's what's cool about it. Whenever you fire it, the bullets go in like a wavy pattern. In in the bullets, whenever they hit an enemy, some of the bullets will survive. But what's not good is that if they ricochet off the enemy, they can end up coming back and hitting you. Which I've never had that happen. Because if the enemy is inside your crosshairs, since... Whenever you fire it, not all the bullets are inside the crosshairs. 
whenever you shoot it and the enemy's inside your crosshairs, it won't come at you. If the enemy's not inside your crosshairs, it will come at you. So, this guy is only level 2 once again. Drop nothing. So, we're going to be testing this out on him. See what it can do. Okay, it seems to be doing okay against him. It's not doing great, but it's not doing horrible. Just gonna throw a grenade at him. Great. So you know what? It's taking too long. So I'm just gonna kill him with this. Okay, so that did something against him. Okay. Now let's see. So the tidal wave, we discovered that it it's not too great against Saturn. But against other enemies, it should be pretty good. Like, it's okay against him, but not that good. And then, ooh, back here, there's a loot chest. I'm, I've never noticed that, even knowing I've passed by it, like, a ton. So now, the next one that we're going to be moving on to is now another good one called the Pimpernel. Should I be using this one? <clears throat> gonna leave and then use it. And then after this, we're gonna go on to my final and most favorite weapon in the entire game. So now we're just gonna come over here. Hey, okay, good thing I didn't get covered in slag. Whoa, that that's powerful. So it's annihilating these robots. Just the level thirty one. that I have on a different character can even that one annihilates. It's pretty it's pretty crazy. And if you try putting this gun up against Terramorphus, the fire fire pimpernel, um on my level thirty, I tried him. He's it's pretty powerful. On level thirty with a level thirty pimpernel against Terramorphus as a level 32, you as a level 30, I mean, no, Terramorphus as a level 52, fighting him, I got him down to a good amount of health, but then I died, because, you know, he's a raid boss, so let's see what we got from him. Yeah, I got. Now I saw the blue go flying. I thought it was the hive, and I was about to get all happy, but sadly, it wasn't the hive. Maybe we'll get it just for good luck on the last time trying to kill this guy, or we'll get the sniper rifle legendary. <coughs> That would be really cool if we were to get it. Because that gun. Before I got it, it's it was like really good. It's like one of 
Probably one of the best guns I've ever equipped. That's how good it is. So now we're moving on to the final, my most favorite one of them all. My final most favorite is the Uncapped Herald. Mine's not the double penetrating, but it's still pretty powerful. 3048 damage. So we're going to see what this can do. So let's just kill all, kill all these guys. This guy. Okay, these guys. We hear are dead. Come over here. Oh no. They're all after me now. Yeah, there are a ton of them back there. Okay, so let's go test this out on him. Let's see what this can do. Okay, just keep picking up that echo. Really, this guy's not giving me anything, which is weird. Whenever he should, because maybe it's just luck. Like, maybe it's just a rare thing that you'll get here from him. If you do get stuff from it, it's, it's usually not anything good. Okay, so the Unkept Herald brings him down pretty quick. Which hopefully we got something from him. I, I don't think we did, but it's always good to check. So it doesn't look like we got anything from him, sadly. So now let's come up here. Now... And he dropped a whole lot of uh, nothing, it looks like. Which is kind of stupid. We got this from him. It's like the best thing we got from, out of him. This guy isn't supposed to drop level 31s. The only thing that's able to drop level 31s is the warrior. I've never seen this guy drop a level 31. I've only seen him ever drop level 39s. I mean, no, no, no. What? Oh, I was looking at my level bar just now. That's why I said level 39s. He, I've only ever seen him drop level 29s and 30s. I've never seen him drop this level. That's just insane. Like that's that's a high level. Of, that's like that's an that's a high level drop from him. But it's it's not a good class mod though. And if you guys are wondering that about that little door that I passed, I know this isn't part of the <coughs> video or anything. It's something that I get, I just wanted to show you. So just hide. Destroy that little box thing. And that's how you get into this room. That I kept running past with this right here. When you get in here, there's a chest. And the chest has... It can sometimes contain good loot. And contain not that good of loot. So that's going to end my video, I guess, guys. Thanks for watching. And make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.